G'day guys, this is Ben from Vibrancy Design. I've got another After Effects tutorial here for you today, and this one we're going to be looking at how to create an outline stroke. Alright, now um, if you're wondering what this killer rabbit thing is, I urge you to have a quick look at uh, YouTube, just do a search for, uh, for this and you'll find something quite interesting. Oh, there we go. Killer rabbit. Quite amazing. Anyway, um, going back to here, what we're going to be creating today is this. Okay, so if you have a look carefully, it's essentially the whole outline of this logo has been uh, filled in, and then the whole thing is filling in like that. Alright, so we're going to be going through the different steps on how to actually create that one. Okay, so your first thing to do is to click here and create a new composition. Now this particular one I'm using is 720p HD. It doesn't really matter what you choose, but if you want to follow along with the, the settings that I'm doing, then you might as well make that one there. Alright, so we'll just call this one uh, Rabbit or something like that. Okay, and I've got the comp which is at uh, 10 seconds in length. So now we've got that empty comp. Now I urge you to um, follow the link on the description of this video and you'll find an image which I've um, provided a link for for you to download, which is essentially just the logo which I quickly created in Photoshop. Now a couple of things about this uh, logo, and you can create any logo you like and use this technique and it will work. Uh, the only important thing is it needs to have an, a fairly clean alpha channel. Now if you're not quite sure what that is, it's essentially the transparent area in this image. So you can see we've got some fairly clean lines all around those. Alright, so now if you've, um, you can either follow along with your own image or if you want to you can download this one, that's fine. The first thing to do is to grab this image and then drop it into this new comp. Alright, so that's where it's sitting there. Cool, so with that one now in place, let's just uh, select that, grab this handle here, and then drag it in, holding down Shift to constrain the proportions. So we'll make it approximately that big. Alright, so that's looking lovely, and if we toggle the transparency thing here, we can see that we've still maintained that in the image. Now the next thing to do, is I uh, will zoom up to 100% so we can see what's going on. Then come up to, or with this one selected, come up to Layer, all the way down to Auto Trace. Now clicking on that, with Preview selected, you'll get this yellow line happening around here. What we're essentially trying to do is turn this whole image into a series of, of um, masks for a layer. Okay, so now we've got that part. Um, I'm pretty sure all these settings will be fine on their default, but uh, it's important that you check this to alpha and not any of these other ones. Alright, so with that one done, click on OK. That's going to create a brand new layer with all these masks masking out the silhouette of this particular logo. So if we deselect that, you can see it actually did quite a good job of that. So we can now shut this original layer off, and because we're now going to be working with this one. Alright, now selecting that, we're going to come across to our effects and presets thing and if that one isn't present for you, you can click on window and you'll find it just there. Okay, so typing here, stroke. Now there's quite a lot of presets, so just twirl them up. Okay, what you want is generate stroke. Now double clicking on that and coming across here and we've got some different things. Now I'm um, working down the list. What we need to do is if you have a look on here, there's path. This is all the different masks because all of these particular outlines are different masks for the different letters. What we want to do is click on all masks and at the moment we'll tick off stroke sequentially. Okay, now at the moment it doesn't look like anything's changed, but what we need to do is under the paint style, click there and go on transparent. Now if we deselect that again, what you'll notice is now this whole thing has been outlined like that. Now at the moment the default width for this is 2 pixels, but uh, we're just going to bump that one up to about 4 for the purposes of this, so it's a little bit easier to see. Now just running through a couple more of these settings, the, uh, the end one, which is going to be the one we're going to be animating later, um, is quite important. And having a look at this spacing, it should be set to about 15 or so percent. You can actually um, drag that all the way up to 100 
and you can create a dotted line outline as well which um, I guess it could be useful for certain things probably not in this case alright so I'm going to bring that one back down to about 15 ok now what we have to do is we'd like to animate this because at the moment this whole thing is static if we just scrub through our timeline nothing is really happening so let's go up click on end with the stopwatch there once we've done that uh, hit U which is going to bring up a keyframe there now let's drag this keyframe over to approximately 5 seconds and now with that one selected with this time still on this part hit 0 and enter ok now wait a second what's happened everything's disappeared alright so let's quickly scroll through and you can see that all these strokes are now outlining themselves between these two keyframes with it all finishing once we get to that particular one ok so this is quite a cool effect as it is and I've seen quite a few movies that um, use this effect in their title sequences alright and um, if you want this is a, you could actually probably leave it here this is quite a cool effect anyway but what we're going to be doing is taking it one step further alright so we're going to be animating each of these one after the other so if we go back up to the stroke sequentially thing and tick that what that's now going to do is tell After Effects to outline one stroke and then once that's finished that stroke to then go outline the next one so if we scrub through we'll notice that now there's only one at a time happening the only trouble with here is is now it's all out of order and that's nothing that you can really help and it tends to be a bit of a random thing when you go through the auto trace um, so what we have to do is actually have to rearrange the order of these masks because remember I showed you right at the start there was quite a few masks for each of these well if we uh, select here and go M you can see all the masks that we have so there's quite a few and it's just a case of rearranging them in the order that you want to animate so mask 1 which is this one will be the first one that is animated and the second one which I'm guessing is over here is going to be mask 2 alright so it's a, just a case of getting all those and then rearranging them all until you find the right one and what you're going to find is this is actually going to be the most annoying part of this whole tutorial because it's quite long and annoying process alright so um, I'm just going to do a couple just to show you how it works and then we'll, uh, we'll come back with them all finished ok so this is number one like I said before ok what we need is we want this one to be number two ok so if we select that we notice it's called mask number five so we just drag that one up underneath mask number one and now we will get mask number one and then the next one happening after that now we've still got this one which is a bit of a problem so let's just uh, select that one and we know that one's called mask number two let's just drag that one down a little bit okay so it's just a simple case of rearranging all these until you get the right order now most of these ones at the start here are almost in the right order which is good but the, uh, the unfortunate thing is is that with a lot of these letters with um, filled in spaces in the middle these ones will actually be an individual mask compared to the outside one so whatever happens you need to make sure those ones are all together as well alright so just um, it's just a case of selecting all those rearranging them all and then once you're finished um, it should look a lot better